Arkansas who would listen to his ma when she told him he should go to school. He'd sneak away in the afternoon, take a little walk, then pretty soon you'd find him at the local auction barn. He'd stand and listen carefully, then pretty soon he began to see how the auctioneer could talk so rapidly. The auction method of marketing is alive and well. Auctions come in all types, sizes, and platforms, but one thing is for sure. It takes more than a cowboy hat and talking fast to be an auctioneer. Stanley Community College and Carolina Auction Academy are pleased to present a program to help you better understand the auction method of marketing, how to become a more informed consumer, and to see why the number one reason people give for attending auctions is that they are fun. Welcome. We're glad to have you back to hear a little bit more about Carolina Auction Academy and the fact that it is more than a cowboy hat. Today we are pleased to have with us three young ladies who are also in the auction industry, so it's not just for men. And we're going to hear a little bit about what they're doing now that they've been through auction school and what's available out there for you. So we have with us today Karen Lauder, who is, has a graphic design background, and she'll be talking a little bit about what she can add to the profession. We have Kay Inslee, who has an auction firm license and runs auctions every month and Kelly Williams who will be with us in a little bit and she is not only an auctioneer in the auto industry but just won the Alumni of the Year Award for Stanley Community College. So welcome ladies and thank you for coming. Thanks thank you. for having us Betty. Uh, Kate, what about it? What made you go to auction school in the first place? I had to find some furniture for a house, a rental house when I moved back here to North Carolina and I went to my first auction, bought three pieces of furniture there. I still have two of them, and the two auctioneers that um, had the auction, they encouraged me to go and learn more about the auction business. Okay, so this happens a lot. Someone who's just really interested in auctions and they want to learn more about the business. And we do have people who come through school and never go and take the state test. But I understand you did. You got the auction firm license. I Tell did. our audience a little bit about what an auction firm license is as opposed to being an auctioneer. I have the auction firm license. The only thing I know of that I cannot do that an auctioneer can do is call the bids. That's right. I can, um, you know, I have my own auction company. Um, it's called Backdoor Auctions in Albemarle, North Carolina. And I do just about everything another auctioneer does. I've had one on-site estate sale and the rest of them are in my auction gallery. Okay. That's another thing we find interesting <coughs> about this profession is the fact that you can be on-site, you can have a gallery, you can do contract work. There are just lots of different options out there for you. Um, when people meet you and find out that you are in the auction business, do they always say, can you talk fast? Some of them do, yes, and I tell them, no, I can't. I don't want to be an auctioneer, never did. I'm afraid of public speaking. <laughs> oh, and we're so <laughs> glad to have you with us. That's great. That's <clears throat> great, yeah. But that is a typical question. Though, it, so. is. it is. It um, is. Uh, the other thing, if you went through school, mm -hmm. would you recommend that school to other people or say, hey, don't bother? Oh, no, I would <laughs> highly recommend it. Um, there is another auctioneering school here in, in North Carolina, and... I prefer Carolina Auction Academy because you actually get to, to do things. I think it's more detailed, and I thoroughly enjoyed my time there. Good. I <laughs> had a really good time. We'll pay you later. But oh, thank yes. you. Thank you. <laughs> that that <clears throat> is, is what we try to do is spread it out over a longer period of time so you can experience a lot of things. And we are fortunate to have eight instructors who are all auctioneers, and they can add a little bit to it. Um, let you think for a minute while we talk with Karen, but can you think of any funny incidents that's happened to you <laughs> while you've been in this auction business. And Karen, welcome. Thank um, you. You came from graphic artist background. Uh, you are an artist now in different ways. I think you've done cosmetology. Um, what made you go to auction school? Well, it's like so many of the interviews that I've watched on the videos before people say, well, my dad did this or, you know, I'm a second or third generation. 
But I went to auctions with my dad. It was just something that, you know, kind of did growing up and always enjoyed it um, as a hobby, as a collector, just different things. And so when the auction school first opened about 10 years ago, I thought about it then, but things just came up and I couldn't do it and the timing was just right. And so decided to go take the class. Mm -hmm. And we're glad you did, even though you were a very good buyer at some of our <laughs> auctions. So we were glad to have you to join the profession. Um, the graphic design background, uh, how is that an advantage in the auction industry? Well, um, in talking about being an auctioneer, and I don't think that that was my primary goal, I was more interested in the support staff and having mm -hmm. helped Kay some in her business. and. Um, there's just so many things that go on behind the scenes that I think are important. Um, and we could really get into things like advertising and, and knowing what you need to do to advertise a business to make it successful. And um, I think anybody that's in a business, you need to be aware of all the different aspects of what makes your business successful. Um, also have an accounting degree, so I realize the importance of keeping good books, um, you know, running a business if you're going to do it professionally. The more you know, the better business person you will be. Yeah. That's well said, and one of the sessions we do in school is called, Are You Making Money? Because even though the auction business is fun, uh, there's a lot to it that people don't realize until they go through school, and uh, it's always nice to make some money at it while you're, you're having <laughs> fun. Absolutely, yeah. if you're doing it for a living <laughs> right. especially. Yeah. It's another beauty of the auction industry, whether you're, as you mentioned, the support staff or the auctioneer, is you can do it full-time, part-time, once a year, whatever you want to do. So it gives you a lot of freedom there also. Well, Kay, we've given you a minute to think. Anything <laughs> pop into your mind about a funny incident that's happened in the auction business? Yes. Um, before I got my firm license, this was about four or five years ago, I go to Godley's Farm Equipment Auction once a month in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. And this was back during the summer, and I have this big straw hat with a, a white scarf coming down the back, and I get in there. There's not many women going to these <laughs> auctions. So here I am out there buying, and I'm buying old tools, old hand tools, stuff like that. And all these guys are watching me, and they're like, what is she doing? You know, and I outbid half of them. So anyway, after we got through on the inside, this one old guy comes up to me, and he says, I know who you are. And I said, you do? He said, you're the Cracker Barrel buyer. <laughs> and he swore up and down that I bought everything that hangs on the wall at Cracker Barrel. Oh. And every time he sees me now, hey, Cracker Barrel lady. <laughs> okay. So it's, you know, I don't tell him I am or I am not. There so. you go. Plead but, innocent. <laughs> but, but it's fun. It is. It's it totally is fun. fun. Meet some really great people in this business. Karen, anything <laughs> jump into your mind about a funny incident? Oh, well, I always got in trouble waving at people. <laughs> you know, you're at an auction and you see somebody across the, the crowd and you wave and they say, sold, you know, so that can be kind of dangerous <laughs> if you're not um, careful about who you're waving at. Um, I don't know, just I, I think now there are so many of the gallery auctions mm -hmm. and that is probably a relatively new activity in my experience because mm -hmm. previously everything or years ago it was more the estate auctions and um, you know you never knew what you were going to see, what was going to come mm -hmm. up, what people had collected and um, those were a lot of fun, but I think the gallery auctions have opened up a new avenue mm -hmm. for sales and for auctioneers mm -hmm. and collectors, and you see a lot of people that buy to resale. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's kind of different than it was mm -hmm. back in the day, yeah. but still a lot of fun. Yeah. Another thing that's changed in the auction industry is or an add-on has to do with the online auctions. And we're seeing auctioneers now that do a combination. Some things they sell at a gallery, some things they sell at an estate, and some things they do online. Well, ladies, thank you so much for coming in. Our next class is August 17th, so if you'd like to stop in and give them a, a <laughs> cheerleading <laughs> hello so that they know what they're getting into, 
But we do appreciate you taking a little bit of time to come share your experiences since you graduated. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank and you. I would highly recommend the class. Bill and Betty do a great job. They have great instructors. It's, it's well planned and um, you know I think the pass rate for Carolina mm -hmm. Auction Academy is really good. They do prepare you uh, for the exam and you know if you're going to do it you want to be able to do it pass right. that exam. <laughs> There's yeah. a lot more to it than just wearing a cowboy hat. There That's you right. Are. Exactly. <laughs> well thank you and uh, let's see what Kelly has to say. Joining me now is Kelly Russell Williams, uh, and I say that slowly because Kelly got a little more out of auction school than most people do. Uh, she left with a husband, so <laughs> Kelly Williams, welcome. Uh, Thank you. Uh, also, Kelly has several claims to fame. Um, we don't have many female automobile auctioneers, and that's what she's doing right now, but just most recently she was nominated and elected as the Stanley Community College Alumni of the Year. And we're just real proud of you for that, Kelly. She's Thank you, Betty. Yes. Wow. I still can't believe that <laughs> yeah. I received that honor. Yes. Well, what we noticed about Kelly was she's been coming to Stanley Community College since high school. Mm -hmm. And uh, graduate of State, must be why you have on red today. That's right. <laughs> and then even after at State, you took some classes here mm -hmm. and then came back and uh, got the notary. Yes. And then... Auction school. Auction school. Yeah. Took some real estate classes. So <clears throat> we've just had you around for quite a while, and we appreciate that. And uh, the honor was well deserved. So thank you, thank you for representing our college well. Um, when you came to Carolina Auction Academy, you were actually working in a law office, correct? Yes, I was working for Mark Louder in Albemarle. I was his real estate uh, legal assistant. And what made you want to come to auction school? I have always enjoyed attending auctions. Uh, it's just been a habit, a habit of mine since I was knee high to a grasshopper, really. Um, but I've always enjoyed business. I've enjoyed selling things. In fact, I have a little online yeah. gift boutique, dannydots2.com, where I sell personalized gifts and monogramming and embroidery. And I thought that if I attended auction school, that would just mm -hmm. teach me a new method of selling things and ex it broadened my experiences. Yeah. And actually, I have some of your products from Dainey Dots. You do a nice job there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but um, so, yes, you have quite an extensive background. And then the auction school was interesting to you as you uh, found a new roommate, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, does David help you with the auctions? David and I split big calling 50-50. Um, he usually starts out and does the announcements. And then he'll call bids for a little while and then pass it over to me. And we just tag team it back and forth. Great. And where is your automobile auction located? We are at 5501 North Sharon Amity Road in Charlotte. Um, it's right almost at the W.T. Harris intersection. Mm -hmm. And does anyone ever bug you about, well, you're a lady, you can't be doing this. Um, I get that quite frequently. <laughs> uh, you know, like some jobs, people don't expect to see a female. Um, but I'm winning the crowd over. Some people prefer me. Some people prefer David. It's all about you know, what pleases your ear, mm -hmm. that we have a good time. That's good. And um, I remember when you first started, uh, we went to several of those auctions and it either snowed or rained. Every time for the first year, it seemed like. <laughs> but you hung in there. We and, did. And have moved to a new location and are doing great things. Um, with your business background and marketing and sales, what do you see in the auction business that people might not be aware of? Because it is hard work. It is a lot of hard work. People don't realize. They think they can just get up there and talk fast and slam the gavel down and you're done. And that is not yeah. it. There is so much more behind it um, from start to finish and checking out bidders and registering bidders. It's a process that you have to learn in auction school. You could not just, anybody off the street could not just go up there and do it. Mm -hmm. So just being able to have a good chant and talk fast is not the secret. Right? Absolutely not. You have to be precise. I mean, it's my goal to be precise and eloquent. You know, the more you call bids, the faster you get and the more eloquent you get. Um, you don't want to get up there and just splutter. Right. That's one of the things we teach in school is it doesn't matter how fast you go. If people can't understand you, they're not going to bid. It's useless. <laughs> and so uh, we, we do run into people every now and then who can go like a machine gun. <laughs> but... Uh, 
people don't know what they're saying, so the bidding doesn't occur. Exactly. And your job is you're working for the seller. And so you've got to get as much money for them as you can and yet keep your crowd happy. Right. So it, it's quite a, a customer-friendly business that you're in. Well, with all of your experiences, uh, we asked Kay and uh, Karen about any funny incidences that might have happened in this business. Anything you want to share? Oh, yeah. We have a funny <laughs> incidence every now and then. Um, we sell DWIC's vehicles for the Department of Public Instruction, um, which is an automobile auction that's open to the public. Well, as most people know, there are not very many public auto auctions. So every now and then, We'll get a customer who thinks that just because our Eastway Wrecker Service tow truck is pulling a car through, they're getting the tow truck and, and the car. Oh. <laughs> so we have a good laugh at people that get that just a little bit confused. Right. So they want to give you $200 for your tow truck exactly. and the car. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's another part of the auction business. It's all about communication mm -hmm. and letting your buyers and your sellers understand what's going on. Um, some auctioneers will do things and they'll say, time's your money. Um, gets people confused sometimes because they may have 15 of certain item and they'll say, time's your money. And you bid a dollar and you go to check out and it's $15 mm -hmm. because you got all 15 of them. So exactly. In school, that's one of the things we teach is a lot of the vocabulary. And just because you understand auctions, your crowd may not. So we do a lot of educating of the public too as you're running that business. With uh, your degree from state uh, and those other schools you, you've gone to before you came here, um, anything that you've been able to share, maybe an alumni role with them that uh, comes from your auction business, benefit auctions or anything? I've done several benefit auctions. Um, I've done the Habitat for Humanity in Forsyth County. David and I actually called bids uh, together for that as well. Um, it's just communication. You learn a lot of skills in college that you don't necessarily learn in high school or lower level education. Um, that'll get you far in life. So I'm learning quickly. You have to be a good communicator. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, we're just pleased that you chose Carolina Auction Academy. Uh, a little curious, how did you find out about us? Well, I was just doing a little Google search online. I was looking for a nearby auction school, and when I saw, when Carolina Auction Academy popped up and I saw it was in Locust, hey, that's a 15-minute drive from Albemarle. Mm -hmm. Why not? I took it as a sign to join, and <laughs> signed right up, and very glad I did. Yeah. Uh, one of the funny things we saw there uh, when Kelly was in class, um, mm -hmm. she mentioned she was working for an attorney, Mark Lauder. Mm -hmm. Mark actually teaches contracts for us at the auction school. So Kelly didn't tell him that she was in auction school. So the night he shows up to be the instructor, the first person he sees at the door is, <laughs> don't I know you? <laughs> he was a little bit surprised. Yes, he was. But he was proud nonetheless. Yes, he was. And he said that many, many times, how proud he is of you. Well, folks, we hope you've enjoyed seeing that it's not just a men's world, uh, and it's not all about calling bids, that there are a lot of different jobs in the auction industry that you might enjoy, and if nothing else, just enjoy learning more about the laws, rules, and regulations. A new class that we'll be having in addition to the auctioneer school that the state asked us to think about is a class for people who want to be a designated person on a firm exam. Uh, because those folks have to take an exam also, but there's no quote class to take to learn how to be a designated person or to pass the firm exam. So we'll be doing that in the fall also. It'll be called 3Ds for auctioneers. Uh, what do you delegate? What can a designated person do? And, and that type thing. So thank you for tuning in. Don't forget, we have two classes a year. Carolina Auction Academy started in 2005. This will be our 21st class coming up on August 17th. And we hope you'll join us. Thank you. At Carolina Auction Academy, students learn about the rules, regulations, laws, marketing, contracts, product knowledge, and ethics, and much more in addition to bid calling. But it is a fun class and a great learning experience. We have two sessions each year, one in August and one in January, with class size limited to 20. Why not think about joining us? For more information, contact Carolina Auction Academy at 704-991-0200. the auctioneer That is, perhaps it's son, we just can't stand to have the mediocre man Telling things at auction, using our good name 
I'll send you off to auction school, then you'll be nobody's fool. You can take your place among the best.